Hey, it's Victoria from Coastal Themes. In today's video, I'm going to talk you through shadows. We'll start by selecting an element on our page. I'll select this button. Come over to the right hand panel and scroll down to the Styles section. You'll see here the shadow property. Click Add. You can see a range of different properties which we'll now edit. Starting with type, we have box and we have realistic. I'll talk through realistic in a second, but we'll start with box. Box is similar to what you see when you're using CSS, if you're familiar. Here you can adjust if you'd like to position the shadow inside the element or outside the element. This is similar to embossing or debossing, if you're familiar with print design. The color refers to the color of the actual shadow. For the sake of this, we'll make it super dark, so you can see all the other settings being applied. X refers to where the shadow lies on the X axes, so the higher the number, the further to the right, the lower the number, the further to the left. The Y refers to the Y axes, so the higher the number, the lower the shadow, the lower the number, the higher the shadow. The Blur refers to how blurred and diffused the shadow looks, and the Spread refers to how wide the shadow sits from the element itself. When you look at the realistic type of shadow, this layers a range of box shadows in order to create a more realistic and diffused approach. You'll see that the blur and spread is now diffusion and focus, where focus is similar to blur. So the more focused, the more sharp the shadow, the less focused, the less sharp the shadow. Diffusion changes the spread. So you can adjust this as you wish. Using box, you can layer multiple box shadows to create the effect you'd like. Or if you'd like to make your life slightly easier, just simply add a realistic shadow. And that's everything you need to know about shadows. If you have any requests for what you'd like to learn on Framer, drop us an email. See you soon.